4D Growing Ice Cream Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a growing ice cream 4D nailer tutorial. So it's the top scoop of the ice cream is 3D, and then the subsequent two scoops are flat, but when you pull out the top one, it grows. So you can have a one scoop, two scoop, or a three scoop cone. It's a pretty easy design that's very wearable. I normally, you know, if I was wearing this, I would keep it on the one scoop and then just to kind of show off, I'd show off that it can be two or three scoops as well. So it's up to you. It's just kind of a fun, simple summary design. I hope you guys like it and don't forget to click subscribe. See all my, all my future videos as well. So to start with, I'm going to begin with an overlay of clear acrylic. Because of the way that the little pocket for your ice cream is made on top of the nail, you do really pretty much want to paint this with a layer of gel polish so it doesn't get too thick and so it doesn't really matter what the color is of the base of the nail for just it's just for strength it's not for anything else so you can do whatever color you like and then I'm going to be filing the nail into shape with my e-file and just making sure that it is nice and smooth and not too thick because like I said it's got this pocket on the front of it so this nail is going to be a little thicker and a little bit less sleek than some um so as thin as you can get this nail without sacrificing the strength that's how that's how you want it to be after that's all filed I'm going to take a separate nail tip and I'm just going to buff off the shine so it's easy to write on and a little bit thinner and I'm going to take a sharpie and I'm going to be just drawing out the little shape of my three little cones or my three little scoops of ice cream not three cones and then I will be cutting them out with a little manicure scissors and don't mind the fact that I'm cutting it out with a little foot here in the beginning that was I had a different idea of how I wanted to go about this design in the beginning and I ended up cutting that foot off right away which you'll see in a moment but I had it on there to begin with and then I just was like wait a second that is not the way I should be doing this and I just cut it off but anyways cut out all of your little ice cream it is a little bit hard to do on your nail tip depending uh, the higher quality nail tip you use the better some plastic nail tips as you cut them they just kind of bend out of the way and they're they don't get any weird marks on them or they don't tear some of them are going to want to tear or they'll kind of stretch out and they'll turn different colors uh, clear ones will get these white streaks in them so just you know keep that in mind then file off that extra sharpie then hold another nail tip over the top of it and cut it off so it will just cover up a little bit more than those two scoops the two bottom scoops not the top one and then glue that onto the nail that's going to be the base for your pocket so just take a little bit of nail glue and glue that down so put a little bit of glue on either side or actually I'm not using glue I'm using uh, clear acrylic here for whatever reason I probably couldn't get my glue open yeah see I'm chopping off the little foot on the bottom of the scoop Sometimes you have an idea in your head of how you want to do something and then as you're working on it, you're thinking, no, that's not right. So anyways, uh, glue that down, put a little stripe of glue on either side and then glue down your pocket and try not to glue your glove to the nail as best you can. I usually struggle with that. And then secure your pocket down with a little bit of that clear acrylic. And then make sure as you're doing this that you add the clear acrylic down both sides and that you kind of fill it in all the way around as well as the bottom of it. So just kind of fill it in everywhere that you, everywhere that you need to. And there's the acrylic that's filling in the bottom. You want to, as you glue down your pocket, you want to make sure that it stayed um, the same thickness all the way down so it doesn't, it's very easy to glue them down where they're wider at the top and then they get thinner as it goes down. Make sure that it has enough thickness to hold that ice cream the entire way through. And then I'm using a one-step gel polish for this so I don't have to worry about any top coat and that's going to just add another layer of color or another layer of thickness on your nail. So I'm using one step and I'll apply two coats of a lavender color. And now I'm going to be sculpting my little 3D ice cream cone with a very, very glittery gold color. It's kind of a, it's not just like a gold gold, like a, I don't know. It's more of a fall warm color gold with some, I don't know, I think of like a caramel color more than gold I suppose. After that's done I'm going to be taking some black paint and adding a crosshatch going across the top of it to make it look like it's got that waffle cone shape as well as an outline and then apply matte top coat over that just to protect the paint and then on your little ice cream scoops that little piece of nail tip that we cut into that shape I'm going to be adding some green color one step gel polish to the bottom for a mint kind of ice cream and then above that I have just a cream color say it's french vanilla or something and then on the top it's going to be strawberry and then with the strawberry it's actually done with acrylic so it's 3d and i placed a red rhinestone in the center of that to make a little cherry and then with black paint i'm going to go through and add the little details on my ice cream cone so for the bottom scoop like i said i thought green kind of like a mint color then i'm going to be adding some brown chocolate chips on my french vanilla i added just some little purple 
sprinkles on there and then on the top one I added just I didn't want to add anything else so I just added a couple little outlines to make it a little bit more defined and then apply a layer of gel sealer over your ice cream cones and that is it this is a very easy design like I said if I were wearing it I'd probably keep it just the top scoop down and then expand it whenever I wanted to show somebody but otherwise wear it just like it was there so I hope you guys like this as much as I do and please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram and come with your favorite kind of ice cream mine is green tea I love green tea ice cream I could eat that every day I probably shouldn't but I could and I will see you in my next video bye